Disclaimer, this video will likely contain various spoilers from throughout the AMC show The Walking Dead and possibly even some of the graphic novels, so if you don't want any of that, then you should click away from this video now. When The Walking Dead first aired on AMC in 2010, I watched the entire first season, and I hated it. Because it was a pretty bad, awful, annoying show. I mean, the first episode, yeah, A-OK, -okay, but just the rest of it after that was just really, really bad. I think I've said this in a previous video, the entire first season ultimately amounted to a bunch of people that just walked and yelled at each other a lot, and it was really boring, and I didn't like it. So after season one, I decided to stop watching the show entirely. But then a few months ago, I was arguing with my friend about it, and he said, no, 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 you haven't seen season two or three, you gotta keep watching, it gets way better, trust me. So I did. So then I watched season two, and season two is... decent. Part of what I hated about the first season was about 99% terrible characters was fixed in season two, but it was still got really boring at times because the entire season takes place on a farm with no danger. So it got kind of boring at times, and especially the last episode in season two stands out in my mind because it's a really bad episode, but still better than season one. The last episode of season three aired last Sunday, and I've been watching that whole season, and I want to talk about it and stuff. Season three of The Walking Dead is by far the best collection of episodes that the show is yet to offer, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, all of the characters that have been in the show thus far are at their most interesting in season three. That's because season three starts off months after the end of season two, and by that point, this zombie apocalypse has been going on for like a year and a half-ish, and everybody's sort of losing it. Some of the most interesting crazy people include Rick, who just goes bananas when Lori dies. And then there was Carl, who throughout the show you can sort of see grow into this more hardened and detached person, but he actually murders a guy in the last episode of season three, so that was something. The same goes for most of the characters. I don't think once in season three there was a particular scene that I didn't like because it was just characters blabbing at each other. They've been living in this world for a long time and they sort of accept it by now, so they're not really concerned with each other. They're really just sticking together to survive, and survival is where all the drama comes from. Another thing, sort of a trivial thing, applies differently to every person, but three of my least favorite characters died in season three, so that's, you know. And those three would be Andrea, Merle, and Lori. I can't really think of a specific reason why I never liked Lori. I just didn't. I guess I just don't like the actress. What's her face? I didn't like her in Prison Break and I don't like her in this. The episode where she does die though is a very important episode because it is the episode where Rick goes just like, and it's the episode that I think solidifies Carl as the bad mamma jamma that he is. Now what happens with Andrea and Merle is something that happens like all the time in TV shows and movies and everything all around that I just don't like, which is the concept of making a character awesome right before they die just to make me care. This happened a lot in season three. Merle, who hasn't done a even remotely kind thing throughout the entire show, at the end just sort of decides to go and sacrifice himself to the bad guys to give the good guys a chance and it makes you think, oh, I like Merle now because he did that one nice thing before he died. No, not me. I think that was a good thing for him to do, but when I saw him get popped through the chest by the governor, I was like, thank God. The same thing happens with Andrea. I know season three as a whole is just a really big growth thing for her, but she does so many awful and annoying things in season two that when she dies at the very end of the last episode of season three, I was just like, finally. finally. There's also an episode midway through the season where this happens with a character named Axel. When the group first finds the prison, they clean the place out and then they meet a couple of convicts that had been there since the apocalypse started, and two of them end up sticking with the group. One of them just ends up being sort of a body to get shot down in one of the battles with Woodbury, but the other was a guy named Axel who did literally nothing until the episode where he died. At the very beginning of the episode where Axel dies, he starts being built up to be this really nice guy and he's kind of funny and he's kind of sweet and Carol, one of the characters, starts to have sort of a thing for him and he's like, you know, super nice and then he gets shot in the head at the end of the episode. And then it occurred to me, oh, he was only made relevant in this episode because he was gonna die and the writers wanted to make us care just a little bit. That's lazy and I don't like it. Now something huge that separates season three from two and one is that there is a definitive bad guy. Part of the reason why season one and two can get so boring at times is because there's no real goal. It's just this group of terrified people walking along trying to find a safe place to live. Which I guess realistically is what you would want to do in that situation, but it's television and no one wants to see that. In season three, along with the general fear and will to survive, the group is also at war with a town called Woodbury. And the leader of Woodbury is a guy called the Governor, and he's terrifying. Throughout the season, at the fault of Rick's group, he just goes crazier and crazier and crazier until it all sort of culminates in the last episode where he just mows down a bunch of his own people. I just overall thought he was a really fantastic, unpredictable villain. A big complaint about the last episode of season three is that the Governor doesn't die, he just sort of gets away, and I agree. I wouldn't have a problem with him getting away, except the last scene that he appears in, it's a big action scene, and then he leaves with his two henchmen, but you never see him again for the rest of the episode. He just gets in the truck with his henchman and drives away and he's never heard from again. And at that point, the episode focuses entirely on Andrea's big emotional death scene until the end of the episode, so you never find out where he is. Also, little thing, AMC, either give The Walking Dead a higher budget or Walking Dead 
filmmakers film the killing zombie scenes in, you know, darker lighting and stuff because the CG effects are pretty horrible in this show. I remember this one specific scene a few episodes ago where Carl and Michonne are in a pub and there's a close-up of Michonne stabbing a zombie through its skull and you can see her hands like fidgeting in dead space because there's nothing there. It's a cartoon. I think I'm digging a little too far into details. Anyways, that's my thoughts on The Walking Dead just sort of as a whole, specifically season three. And that is day four of Video Every Day in April and I'll see you tomorrow. The last episode of season three aired last Sunday, and I'm going to opinion myself to you.